Hello out there in YouTube land. What's going on, man? This is House of Jazz, the piano tutorial, man. And um, I'm definitely coming at y'all totally different. Uh, first, let me just uh, give a shout out to the person that sponsored this video. So I want to give a shout out to Crane Style Productions. I have his name up there in the top corner. You can see it. Uh, that's the name of his YouTube channel. I'm um, about two weeks ago doing my live stream. Uh, this uh, person uh, gave me a $50 live, uh, what's you call it? Super chat during the live stream and said that he would really appreciate it if I did a video showing uh, the progression in C sharp, um, you know, which is the same as D flat. So um, here I am. Okay. So uh, I decided to sit down and to, you know, this is very, really, really basic. I'm not going too deep into it because I really feel that if this is the first type of first time I put up a video about this. So I definitely need to make sure I start at the beginning. Let me say this before I start. If you don't understand how to build your chords, your major chords, your minor chords, your diminished chords or whatever, this is not a good first video for you to do. Back in November 2016, I uploaded a series. It's like it's either four or five videos uh, of in the and it's called Piano Theory, and it's the basics of piano. And I think video two and video three, I started getting into showing you your major scale. Well, the scales, major and minor scales, the chords and how to build chords and how to do inversions. You may need to stop this video and look at that first. That link to the playlist will be right in the description box of this video. So if you need to stop this video, go to the description box. You click the link and you, it will take you to the playlist. And then wherever you need to start, it's like four or five videos and learn these chords. So this video is for those that already know what how to play a major chord, a minor chord, a diminished chord. OK, major seven, minor seven, diminish seven. OK, just I just wanted to put that on there. So now what we're doing is we're looking at the key of C sharp or D flat. Um, personally, uh, C sharp and D, um, D flat are inharmonic, which simply means it's the same note on the piano. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's like <laughs> you can go C sharp or D flat. Right. Uh, in my mind. D flat registers better with me. So if I'm with a band and somebody say, oh, yeah, we in C sharp. I'm like, OK, yeah, cool, cool. And in my mind, I'm like, OK, I'm in D flat. OK, <laughs> it's, it's the exact same thing. So we're going to look at it from the uh, viewpoint of D flat. Now, if you look, um, let me use this, my little cursor right here, just a little cursor right here. I have all this mumble jumble typed up. Let me start with this first, and then I'll start demonstrating on the piano what's going on. What we have here is basically for those that want to know the number system. You might have, you know, if you those of you out there trying to teach yourself how to play the piano, and you hear people talk about the number system, you got to know your number system. But this is the basics of the you know basics of the number system. You have your one chord, uh, which is always a major chord. Um, your two chord, which is a minor chord, your three chord is all is minor. I'm let me, I'm gonna take the word always out because it's never going to it's never always when you're dealing with music. Most of the time, it's never going to be always. Uh, it's um, usually the <laughs> the one is major, the two is minor, the three is minor, the four is major. The five is a major. And when I'm saying major, I'm saying chord, like major chord, minor chord, minor chord, major chord, uh, major chord. The six is usually a minor chord and the seven is usually a diminished chord. OK, so if you look at what I have right here, I'm starting with the one since since we're dealing with the key of D flat, D flat or C sharp is the one. Right. <laughs> right. That would be your one. Then your two. First of all, let's look at the scale. Let's look at the um, C sharp uh, D flat scale. Again, I'm going to use D flat from here on out. I'll just say D flat. OK, D flat, E flat, F, G flat, A flat, B flat, C and D flat. That's your scale. OK, one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, and then you're back at one again, okay? Though that is very important to understand what's going on. When people say the number system, whatever key you in, whatever the name of that key is, that that name, that note name will always be one. If you're in the key of C, then what would be the one? C. If you're in the key of F, what would be one? F. Okay, it's that simple. So D flat, one. Okay, now when we're dealing with um, chord progression in D flat, usually, because I can't say always, your one chord is, should be a D flat major chord. Okay, so you have D flat, F, and A flat. Okay, that's your D flat major chord. Now, as you can see, I have it written out right. I, I even broke down the notes right there. D flat, F, and A flat. Let's skip the major sevens and minor sevens and diminished seven for now. We're just going to look at the basic major chords first. All right. So that chord is considered the one. OK, you know, in, in your progressions, uh, the number system, that will be considered one. Now, when you move to the two chord, your two chord um, is usually a minor chord. So you got to go, what is two in D flat? Let's figure it out. One, two. Okay, E flat is two. What's E flat minor? E flat, G flat, and B flat. So this will be considered the two chord. Okay, now what's the third chord? D flat is one, E flat is two. So F, remember we going with the scale, with the D flat scale, one, two, three. So F, and when we look up here, what is the third? The third, the three is usually what? A minor chord. So you should use a F minor chord. F, A flat, and C. Okay, that's minor. So, so far we have one, two, three. And according to our little um, cheat sheet up there, our four is going to be what? G flat major, which is G flat, B flat, and D flat, right? This is our four. Okay, and according to our cheat sheet up there, our five will be a major chord, and five will be what? A flat. Why? Because we have D flat is one, E flat is two, F is three, G flat is four, A flat is five, and our five is what? Major. Okay? Then our six, according to our cheat sheet up there, is what? Minor. So our six note, the six scale degree in um, D flat is B flat. So you want to do a B flat minor chord. Okay, that's B flat, D flat, and F, right? So that's considered um, your six. And then your seven should be diminish. Okay, diminish uh, will be your C, E flat, and G flat. And then after that, you go back to the one again, which is what? D flat. Okay, so that's your number system. So that's your numbers for the key of D flat. That's your chords, I should say. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you can say eight. Or say back to one, you know what I'm saying? It is the octave. Octave does mean eight, right? The root word, oct, like octopus and all that, you know, eight legs, octave. Now, again, this is very basic. There are, it gets, it's never always when, you, when you're dealing with music, but this is just something to get you started. So if you're with a group of musicians and they're like, okay, what, you know, they might tell you that they should tell you what key they're in. They can replace something. Okay. We want to, um, we we're, we're in the key of D flat. Okay. Or they might tell you C sharp. If they tell you C sharp in your mind, you can just say, well, let me just, just think D flat. Yo, we're in D flat. All right. Um, so we're going to play a one, four, five. Let's play one, four, five. Let's take a look at the one, four, five. So in the key of D flat, our one is what? D flat major. Our four is what? G flat major. And our five is what? A flat major. So, the, so they might not call out the chords. They might just say, yo, give me yo, yo keyboard man over there. I'm in D flat. Give me one, four, five. That means they want you to give you, I mean, they want you to give them one, four, 
five, and you probably need to go back to one, right? One, four, five. That's not right. Five. There we go. Then back to one. I gave you a. Uh, I gave you the five with the. Yeah, my bad. That, that's a little more advanced right there. Now here's the funny thing. There are a lot of songs that you and I like. You know what I'm saying? Where the entire song, that song, one, four, five, and going and back to one, so we can say one, four, five, one, is the whole song. I'm gonna tell you this song that I play at church sometimes when I need if there, if if there's something that comes up, and I'm like, oh my goodness, I wasn't expecting that the choir had to sing something or whatever. I always will go to this song because this song is a one, four, five song. Okay. And I mean, and it doesn't matter what key you're in, but we're going to do it in D flat for right now. And this is um, Hezekiah Walker's Oh Lord, We Praise You. And I'm just this. I don't know what key he originally does it in, but let's say I'm like, okay, qu choir, we, we we need another song. Can, can you give us another song? Yes, sir. Okay. So I'll go. Oh. I was thinking the other day about the joy that came my way How he took away my frown and all the things that had me bound I thought about all the times when I was walking around in the days But tonight I stand before you with nothing but praise Oh Lord, oh Lord, we praise you Did you notice that all I played was one? four, five, one, that entire song, that's all you will play. So yes, there are hundreds, if not thousands of songs <laughs> where the entire song is one, four, five, back to one. Okay. So that's one popular progression. And as you can see, I actually typed the um, progressions down here. If you look down here where it says basic, uh, popular basic chord progressions, that was the first one, which was one, four, five. Okay. All right, so let's look. Let's take a look at what the second popular one is. The po second popular one is a uh, chord progression. That is, would be a one. Uh, your six, which is minor, minor six, and then a uh, major four, and then five. This, just like I said, these are just basic progressions there. So now again, in your mind, this this is why you have, and really you have to get this stuff memorized. You have to know your scales. This is why we say know your scales, know your scales, and then and remember the degrees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so the one will be D flat. Okay, uh, and then it says minor six. You need to remember that B flat minor is your six. Then you want to go to the major four. And then you go to five. And then you can go back to one. Usually, and usually at the end of a progression, you always wind up going back to one. Not always. <coughs> Remember, we don't use the word always. <laughs> so again, so that 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 could be several songs. I'm pretty sure that come to mind. I can't think of any, but I'm sure that there are plenty of songs where you have one minor six, major four, major five, and then back to one. And let me play it so that you can hear it without me talking. So let me just play it now. That's so that's a you know, you probably could sit you probably could sit there with just those chords and write a whole song yourself. Tell the truth. You could sit down and write a whole song. So that progression that was um and it's on the screen up there. Uh that was a one with the minor six, major four, major five. Okay, another popular progression. And then the third one is where you start with the minor two, 
and let me just in case you, I'm right here where it says three. You got a minor two, then you got the uh, five and then one. Okay, and five and one is always major, right? I'm sorry, usually major. All right. <laughs> so in the key of D flat, remember our two is what? E flat, right? So that has to be minor. So you got minor two, right? And then major what? Five and then one. What does that sound like? Doesn't that sound like the ending of a song or at least the ending of the chorus or something? It sounds like it's the ending of something in the song, whether it's the ending of the song. It's a nice way to end a song. It's a nice way to end the song. You know, it's like if you plan something and you're like, okay, two, five, one. Two. Now, just for the fun of it, let's do all three of those uh, chord progressions together. Like, like let's just play them side by side by side, starting with the one, uh, the, the first progression, the second one, and then the third one. Just for the fun of it. Why not? So you have one, four, five. And I'm just going to go back to one. And then the second one will be one minus six. And then the third one is go back to one. No, no, don't go back to one. Minor. Yeah. <laughs> now let me do that without talking so that you can get the full sound now, so you can get the fill. Here we go. Same thing. Some of y'all sitting out there like, yo, I'm going to jack those chords and write a song with that. Go ahead. You and about a hundred other composers, a thousand other composers probably have done that already. But that's basically it. Now, here's the beauty of this progression, that those three progressions. My thing is you should be able to do that in any key. Doesn't matter. Any key. Once you learn your scales, and I'm, right now I'm, I'm definitely talking about major scales. Once you learn your major scales, you can do that in any key. Like, okay, let's go to C major, okay? I know this is supposed to be in D flat, and I did show you D flat, but let me just, just to make it simple, let's go to um, in C major, what's your one? C, right? <laughs> then D is 2, E is 3, F is 4, G is 5, A is 6, B is 7. Back to your tonic again, your root note, which is C which is the one. Okay, so that means in C. Now, let's look over here. Obviously, all you want to do is just look at this top row. You don't want to look at this because this is for, this is specifically for D flat. But just look at the one. It says your one should be major. So that means C is your one. Major, your two is supposed to be minor. Right? Okay. Your three is supposed to be minor. Right? Your four is supposed to be major. Your five is supposed to be major. Your six is supposed to be minor. Your seven is diminished. And then there you go. You're back at um, one again. OK, so you can do that in any key. As long as you know the scale, that major scale, you can do that. So let's look at those progressions. Let's come down here to where it says popular basic chord progressions again. One, four, five. One, four, five, one. Oh, Lord, we praise you. Oh, Lord, we praise you. Remember, I'm in a different key. I did it. Oh, Lord, we praise you. Back to C. Oh, Lord, we praise you. Oh, Lord, we praise you. 
There we go. That's the one. Then um, if you look at progression number two, uh, but we're in the key of C, one. And then it says minor six, A, A minor. Then your four, F major. Your five is G. And then you can always go back to one. Don't have to. Never always. Right? And then on the, uh, the third progression, you have your minor two, which will be to your major five, which is, and then C major. It doesn't matter what key. That's that's the whole point of the, the number system. This is why everyone says, learn your number system. Just learn the number. Just remember that one is major, two and three are minor, four and five major, six is minor, seven is diminished. That's all you have to remember. And, and of course, your scales. You have to know your scales. If you know your scales, you can do progressions no matter what key it is. And if you're playing a, a simple song and all of a sudden they say, yo, take the key up, take the key up. Instead of you saying, oh, my goodness, what's the chords? What's the chords? Forget about the chords. If you know that you're playing one, four, five, then just keep playing one, four, five. They change the key. OK, well, I'm in a new key. Play one, four, five. Oh, Lord, we praise you. I'm in B flat right now. Oh, Lord, we praise you. Take it up. Oh, Lord. I messed up. <laughs> oh, Lord, we praise you. Sorry about that. Oh, Lord, we praise you. Take it up, y'all. Oh, Lord, we praise you. Oh, Lord, we praise you. Take it up again. Oh, Lord, we praise you. again oh lord we praise you oh lord we praise you take it up again oh lord we praise you all i'm doing is just playing the one four and five once you learn that that's all you gotta do you don't have to say oh what's the chord e flat to a flat to b no just go one four five okay i'm in the key of e flat one four five and one you know what i'm saying so it it, it does help it doesn't help with all songs now all songs don't follow a specific like okay it has to follow this progression or it's just not a song no i'm just saying but there are so many songs in existence that does they do follow um, loosely, some tightly, some loosely, they follow some type of the number system. And there are so many other popular numbers, uh, progressions you can learn. I only gave you three because as you can see, I cramped all this in the screen. But you can easily Google that. That's, a, that's, that's free. You can just say, type in, you know, popular chord progressions and you'll get like a, you can print that chart out and have it with you and just start memorizing all the different chord progressions. I just figured I'd start you out with that. Now, before I end this video, I just want to make sure that you understand that um, you don't have to do just a major chord. You can do major seven, minor seven, and diminished seven also, okay? So that's, if you look up here, before I go, I'm going to try, because we're in 23 minutes, so some of y'all probably already click stop anyway. But uh, for those that are still watching this, um, <laughs> if you notice right here, like on the one chord, I put this capital M7. Capital always means mate. Usually, for most of us, it means we're talking about a major seven. And when you see a lowercase m, it usually represents minor. And this D right here represents diminished. OK. All right. So um, major seven minor. So when you when, when you're dealing with all your major chords, you'll use what a major seven. You can always use the major seven. And when you're dealing with these minor chords, you use the what minor seven. Again, if you don't know your chords, Click the description, uh, the link in the description below that will take you to a playlist. And I have a playlist that teach you how to figure out all your major scales my, and the relative minor scales and how to build chords, how to build that major chord, how to build the minor chord. I think I'll go up to major seven. Uh, I think I do um, major seven, dominant seven, if I'm not mistaken. I think that's all th that video series deals with. So, um. But yeah, and then of course, when you're doing a seven, you have C diminished seven. So let's just take a look at that. So we're in the key of D flat. So D flat seven, major seven, 
me be clear. D flat major seven just will be D flat F A flat and then your major seven is C. So that's why I put it in parentheses just for those that's wondering why he got this in parentheses M seven in this C and it's, that's all it is. It's just um, it's just representing the major seven. Okay, then E flat minor seven. Okay. That means you're just taking, you're playing your E flat minor chord, and you can always add that minor seven, which is D flat. F minor seven, you, this is a chord that's very popular if you're playing the type of songs that I teach on my channel. R&B song, R&B, Neo Soul, they use F minor seven all day, all night, all week, all year, all century, all life. Okay, so that would be F A flat C, that's your F minor. You can always add the E flat. That would be your minor seven and G flat major. That's your major. Um, that, that's the four with the major seven. So you start with your G flat major chord and you can add the F. That's a major seven. Now your A flat major seven. That's dominant seven. A major seven will be A flat C E flat G on the right hand. Then B flat minor. That's your regular B flat minor. B flat, D flat, and F. Just add the A flat to make it minor seven. And then your C diminished seven will be C, E flat, G flat. A will make it a C diminished seven. And then you back to your D flat major seven. So you can go. What's really important is to know how to do different inversions of each chord. Again, that playlist in the description down at the bottom in the description box of this video shows you how to do inversions because you don't always want to just play notes in root position. Even when I was playing, oh, Lord, we praise you and everything. I was doing the one, four, five, but I was doing them in different inversions. You might want to start with your instead of playing your D flat major seven that way. You might want to play it this way. And this is just a different inversion. And I like playing E flat minor seven this way. So I'm, I might do something like an F minor seven. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. Now I might play my A flat major seven. Now I'm not going to talk about the theory behind what I'm doing right here because I have a video in the description explaining inversions but I might do A flat E flat and then G C and E flat for my A flat major 7 B flat minor 7 I tend to either play it this way or that way A flat B flat D flat F uh, C diminish you can do that you can do it this way. This, this is probably a. When I usually play it, I usually play it like that: A, C, E flat, G flat. I mean, I added a major nine on this, so you might do. So. That's just like I said, that's if you just you can always add the major seven, do the same thing with the major nine and everything. But I'm going to stop right here because this video is almost a half hour long. But hopefully this helped you understand the basic progressions and an introduction into the number system. When people talk about know the number system, know your scales and everything. This is it again. If you don't know your major scales bare bones minimum you, you, you know major scales and the, and the relative minors for each of that in the description it doesn't have all this fancy software this is before i you know had all this fancy software but i do break down how to figure out your major scales whole step whole step half step whole step whole step whole step half step uh i showed it to you that way i probably showed it to you another way too but um, but yeah, just check that out first and come back to this video. So hopefully if this video helped you out, give it a thumbs up. I'll catch y'all in the next